When we talk about the electrical grid, we're really talking about the way energy is transported. If we think about this a little harder, we can see that electricity isn't really a source of energy, it's a form of energy. And in fact, a typical power plant goes through a number of forms of energy before finally reaching electricity. But why end on electricity? Well, mainly because it's just convenient. It'd be awfully hard to power your toaster with a lump of coal, but it's super easy to just plug it into an outlet. And in order to have that convenience, we've built a grid that allows us to source our energy at a power plant far away and send it to our homes along a series of transmission lines. There are some problems with that grid though, and it's starting to look like a pair of platform shoes. Outdated. One, it's too centralized. Energy comes from a large power plant and flows one direction until it reaches the consumer. If a natural disaster were to disrupt part of the distribution chain, this could lead to major power outages. Two, it's very inefficient. Because the power plant is so far from the consumer, the energy lost at each step of the process is wasted. 60% of the power plant's energy is lost in waste heat right off the bat. And by the time the electricity reaches the consumer, it is only 33% of the energy that was originally produced. And three, this old model is very dependent on fossil fuel sources, which have severe carbon emissions and negative environmental impacts. So researchers are trying to bring the grid into the 21st century. They want to reorganize the grid to include microgrids. A microgrid is essentially a miniature power grid made up of renewable energy sources like solar panels and wind turbines, as well as a large battery bank for energy storage and a smart switch to change between the microgrid and the main grid. With microgrids placed within the main grid, if neighborhood power is lost, the microgrid can be enabled to generate power until the line is repaired. Also, with microgrids closer to the neighborhoods they serve, there is a greater chance of capturing and storing energy that in the old model might have been wasted. Microgrids are also able to generate more of their power renewably, using small wind turbine and solar panel banks, which means less coal and less carbon dioxide. The overall goal is to make the grid of the future reliable, efficient, and clean.